Alright guys, today we're going to do some maintenance on the 150 Mercury 4 stroke. We're going to change the lower unit gear, lube, and then we're going to change the oil and we're going to put a new fuel filter in it. So the first thing we're going to do is the lower gear case. Pretty straightforward job. You need something to hold your prop so you can loosen the, take the prop off. So I just use a 4x4 piece of wood, nothing real fancy. You're going to need a pretty wide bladed, uh, flat bladed screwdriver to open up the vent hole and the drain plug and then obviously you need to take the cowling off all right so we'll get started keep track of how everything comes off so you put it back on the same way so we'll take the nut off here's that washer with the two tabs on it you can see how it just opened them up enough to get the prop off and then when we go back we'll take the screwdriver and, and a mallet and we'll get those nice and tight on the nut prop will slide off and then on a 150 Four stroke, I know for sure it has this plastic ring on it, and that's for the exhaust back. Keeps the exhaust from back flowing into the engine, and you want to make sure that you keep that on there. Don't uh, don't take that off. It's kind of a chintzy piece, to be honest with you. It's plastic. It should have these four tabs on it, and then again, it just fits. So don't take that off of your prop. The next thing we'll do is tilt the motor up so we can kind of see inside of the prop shaft. Pull this off, and again, this is a th they call this a thrust washer. So, if you look below your prop spline, you'll see a screw with a flathead on it. That's your drain plug. So, we'll take go ahead and take that out. And then, if you come on the starboard side of your engine, you'll see another stainless flathead screw here. That's the vent. So, if you don't take that off, it's not going to drain properly. You have to let air come in so that it'll drain out. So, we'll go ahead and take that screw off. And you want to use a nice biggest flat blade you have because you don't want to mar this screw all up. We'll go ahead and take that off. This little blue washer around here, you just want to visually inspect that and make sure it's good. That keeps the water from getting in your lower unit. So we'll do a visual on that. This one looks pretty darn good, so we'll re reuse it. Probably won't come out. We've got it tilted up a little bit for the video, but we'll go ahead and take this off. And again, they come off a little tight at first. Don't you want them to because you don't want water getting in these things. And we'll just carefully take this out because we don't want to drop it into the... This one's a little longer than the vent plug so just take your time. They do that so you can get a hold of it so you don't drop it in there. You can already see the grease starting to drain out of there. So we'll go ahead and trim the motor down and we'll start catching that into our catch can. And you just want to kind of look at the color and make sure it's not milky. Um, if it's milky colored, you might have a water issue, but this this looks pretty good. There's no, it's not milky. It's definitely used, but it's not milky. All right, guys, we've let this drain now for about an hour. It takes took a little bit longer because it's cold. Um, so we're going to take our gear lube now and open that up. We're going to put our hand pump on there. We'll go ahead and screw that into the drain plug, and we'll start pumping this in. So we'll go ahead and get that set up. So the pump just goes into the bottle, screws on the top, <clears throat> and then the other end screws into the drain plug. Make sure you don't force anything. Sometimes it takes a little time to get everything lined up. You don't want to force it because you don't want to strip stuff out. Once it goes, it'll go nice and easy. And then at this point, I usually tilt the motor back up to about level. It takes a little while, but then you'll see it start coming through there. Luckily I have a spare, so I just changed it quick. And we'll go ahead and start pumping it in with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep pumping in grease until we see grease start coming out the vent hole here. And then once we see that, we'll go ahead and put our vent tube screw back in there. All right? So we'll keep pumping along here, and then when we start getting fluid coming out, we'll let you know. All right, guys, so now that we got that coming out, we'll go ahead and put our vent plug, vent screw back in. This stuff is messy, so you just got to be patient. It's... All right, we got that started. We'll go ahead and tighten that up. 
All right, we got that in tight. We'll grab some shop towels and we'll clean that up. Try to wipe it away from your intake holes. And like I said, the stuff, it's grease, so it's pretty messy. I usually give it one more little squeeze there at the end too. So now what we're gonna do, I like to tilt the motor up and try to keep this next part as, as clean as possible. So we'll tilt this up. And the reason I tilt this up is because um, we gotta take this off and some of it inevitably is gonna drain back out. We wanna try to keep that to a minimum. That's one nice thing about this design. Again, you wanna make sure that that blue washer is on your nut before you put it in. So we'll go ahead and take our um, pump off. Kinda get ready to go here, cause like I said, it wants to come out. So we'll get that in there. Have your screwdriver ready so you can get this going as quick as possible. Because, like I said, first thing it wants to do is come back out. So, and again, you want to give that, make sure that's good and snug. Take our rags, get this stuff cleaned up. It's not really going to hurt anything in here, but we don't want to dump all this stuff in the water when we go to our favorite fishing hole. So, I like to make sure I get all this cleaned up good. All right, guys, we've got the vent plug back in, we've got our screw back in the drain, so we're gonna go ahead and put the prop back on. So the first thing is the thrust washer. That goes in, there's a smaller side and a bigger flatter side. The biggest flat side goes on first, okay? You can't put it on the wrong way because the spline is tapered. So if, it's, if you have this gap right here, you've got it on wrong. So make sure you put the big side on first. Okay, we got our thrust washer on, so now we're gonna take our prop, carefully slide that up on our spline. I've got good grease on the spline, so I'm not gonna re-grease it. And the prop slides in, and we wanna make sure that's all the way in. So now we've got the prop all the way in, it's fitted in. We got our, make sure that you have your back, your exhaust plastic piece on there. And then your lock washer goes on. These two little tabs right here, put that on, you'll see on your hub, there's two little nipples on there, and those go around that to keep this from spinning. So make sure you do that. We'll just slide that back in. And then you want to put your nut on, get that started. All right. And you can hand tighten this for until you get to the lock rubber on the nut. And then at that point, we'll have to get our prop wrench and our piece of wood out. I think TH Marine makes a little small plastic piece that's a little bit easier to carry in your vehicle, tow vehicle and stuff, but. When we're in the shop, a piece of wood works just fine. So if you look right here, there's a flat tab on the lock washer. And what you want to do is turn your nut so that it's, the flat side is parallel with that. So that it's on a flat side, not on a, one of the points of the nut. So we'll go ahead and just turn that a little bit more to get to the next flat spot. And you'll see now You'll see now I have that tab lined up with a flat spot on both sides of the nut. And then all we need to do is take our screwdriver and push that in against the nut. Just like this. And then that's nice and flush against the nut. And that's what helps hold that nut in there to keep it from turning out when you go in reverse and stuff like that.